All right, here's the second part of the lesson for unit three, week two. This is the listening comprehension part of our lesson for literacy. We are going to be reading the story. It's just a little short story, Meeting the Pride of Puerto Rico. So this story, you're just listening to it, is not in your reader, okay? So you're just gonna be visualizing. We're talking about the concept leadership and what it means to be a good leader. We are focusing on historical fiction. So some of these people are real people in history, but it's a fictitious story, so it's made up. So some of the characters are made up, but some of the characters are historical figures. And we wanna be thinking about the essential question, how can one person change the way you think? So there are people in history that have really changed the way things have gone and the way others think, and they've been real leaders. So I just want you to listen and visualize, okay? That's good reading comprehension skill. Meeting the pride of Puerto Rico. Keisha and Kyle Jackson sat with their mother in a cafe after a great day at the ballpark. The Jacksons had just watched the Pittsburgh Pirates last game of the 1972 season. Their hero, Roberto Clemente, had the 300th hit of his career, the first for a Latino player. What an arm, Kyle said again. Clemente is the best. Mrs. Jackson smiled. Kyle, could you stop talking long enough to get the ketchup? I see some at the counter. So I want you to visualize, we're gonna stop for just a moment, visualize what it would be like to be sitting with your family after you just watched something so exciting, your favorite hero doing something, and now you're talking about it at a restaurant, okay? So visualize that. Kyle walked to the counter, grabbed the ketchup, then turned to head back to their booth. Suddenly, he felt as if he had walked into a solid wall. I'm sorry, young man. Kyle knew that voice, that accent. He never missed sports beat when they interviewed his hero. He looked up into the face of Roberto Clemente. Where's your table? Let me walk you back to your family safely, he laughed. At the table, Mrs. Jackson and Keisha were surprised to look up and see Kyle standing next to the pride of Puerto Rico. They were even more surprised when he asked if he could sit down. Wow, so think about it. Their faces, Keisha and the mother looking up at their hero. They had just watched him and they were talking about him and so inspired by him and his leadership. And now he's right there at their table at the restaurant they're at. How do you think you'd feel if that happened to you? Pretty amazing. Mr. Clemente, Keisha said, we've just started going to a new school here in Pittsburgh. Some of the kids don't want to give us a chance either. Here's the thing, the baseball player said. Every day you get up and give yourself a chance. Be the best you can be. Keep doing this every day. And soon you'll find that it doesn't matter so much what others think. Sometimes it even changes the way they think. So that's pretty awesome. So I want you to visualize again, Mr. Clemente with a serious look on his face, really trying to inspire Keisha and Kyle, okay? And listening and, and they're listening very closely. Okay, so visualize that. Keisha and Kyle Jackson never forgot their hero's advice. From that day forward, they got up every day and followed his example. So that's the end of the short story. So hopefully you remember the order of events. So first, next, last, and visualizing really helps that in reading comprehension, visualizing as someone's reading or as you're reading, okay? Um, I want you to talk about the setting where it took place. I want you to tell me about the characters in this short story. So I've got a Google Doc attached in Empower to this lesson and to this video. And I want you to tell me about what you remember, your reading comprehension for this read aloud. Okay, all right.